Are we on the brink of discovering something truly remarkable on the Red Planet? What if we could explore Mars without risking human lives? The answer to both questions lies in Martian robots. Hey there folks, welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will explore the possibility of populating Mars using Martian robots. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. The prospect of human colonization of Mars remains uncertain at present, given the formidable challenges that such an endeavor would pose. However, shifting the focus to robotic Martian exploration opens up exciting possibilities. There have already been notable achievements in sending robots to Mars and utilizing them for scientific exploration of the planet. Moreover, the rapid pace of technological advancements in robotics and space exploration here on Earth suggests that we may soon be able to populate Mars with a diverse range of robots capable of performing tasks that are currently beyond the capabilities of human astronauts. Consequently, it is possible that robots may play a significant role in the exploration and possible colonization of Mars in the future. The history of spacecraft launches to Mars dates back to the 1970s, when the Soviet Union made its first attempt with a lander probe named Mars 2. Unfortunately, the probe crashed into the Martian surface, making it the first human-made object to impact the planet. Mars 3 was their second attempt, which successfully landed on the planet, but communication with the probe failed soon after. Mars 6 also lost communication before it landed. Despite these unsuccessful attempts, the Soviet Union deserves credit for its efforts. The United States made its first successful robot landing on Mars with the Viking 1 in 1976. Although it did not perform any groundbreaking tasks, the robot managed to operate for over 2,200 Mars days, also known as SALS. NASA's Pathfinder mission in 1997 was a significant milestone in Martian exploration. It deployed the Sojourner rover, a tiny remote-controlled car-sized robot that drove around the planet for 86 SALS. In 2007, the Spirit rover was deployed, scaling up the technology to a knee-high wheeled robot with an extensive range of sensors and cameras. The modern era of Mars rovers began with the launch of Curiosity in 2012, which was the size of a dune buggy and equipped with its own robotic arm. The latest addition to this family is the Opportunity rover, launched in 2021, which has a similar design to Curiosity, but with updated technology. It also delivered the first ever flying machine to an alien planet, the Ingenuity helicopter drone. China also deployed its own robot to Mars in 2021, the Jurong rover, which is smaller than Opportunity and more comparable in size to the Spirit rover, but with a higher scientific and exploration capability. The accomplishments so far in Martian exploration have been remarkable, but the question remains, where do we go from here? Despite the remarkable success of the Mars rover, scientists and engineers are already working on the next generation of interstellar explorers. The most significant change in the design of the next-gen robots will be the transition from wheels to legs. While wheels are the easiest way to make a robot mobile on solid ground, they are not the most effective method for traversing the rugged terrain of the Martian surface. Mars is covered in loose sandy dust, jagged rocks, and steep slopes, making it difficult for wheeled robots to maintain traction. This was the fate of the Spirit rover, which got stuck in the sand in 2004 and was never able to free itself before the battery died. The same issue almost ended the high-tech modern opportunity, which got stuck on a sand dune and took NASA a month of maneuvering to free. As a result, NASA has been exploring the use of legged robots, which are better suited to the Martian terrain. The concept of legged robots was first popularized by Boston Dynamics with their Big Dog in 2005, which was designed as a military support drone for ground combat. However, the Big Dog was deemed too loud for use on the battlefield, and its technology eventually gave way to the smaller and less unsettling Spot Robot. NASA is now eyeing the Spot Robot for space exploration, as it is more practical for navigating the Martian terrain. The use of legged robots for Martian exploration is an exciting development that could open up new possibilities for scientific discovery and exploration. The Spot Robot is a highly capable machine 
that can carry up to 14 kilograms of weight and travel at a top speed of 6 kilometers per hour. It can traverse a wide range of terrains, including stairs, gravel, and uneven surfaces, and can even pick itself up and self-right if it falls over. This is made possible by the robot's 360-degree camera vision and advanced AI obstacle avoidance algorithms. One of the most exciting possibilities for the spot robot on Mars is its potential to explore caves. There are hundreds of underground tunnels on Mars that were formed by ancient lava flows. While we can see the openings to these caves, known as skylight holes, we have no idea what the inside of these structures looks like. Sending a rover into these caves would be difficult due to their unstable and unpredictable terrain. However, a team of spot robots would be an ideal solution for exploring these underground tunnels. The surface of Mars has been subjected to millions of years of dust storms and radiation exposure, but there could be an entire sheltered ecosystem preserved within these caves. Scientists believe that these caves could be home to microbial life and even contain evidence of past water sources on Mars. The ability of the spot robot to navigate these caves and collect data could lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the history of Mars and its potential for future human exploration and habitation. An alternative solution for exploring Mars is to use helicopter drones to fly around the planet without the need for ground-based mobility. NASA has already achieved great success with the Ingenuity robot, which was designed to test if flight was possible on a planet with an atmosphere less than 1% as dense as Earth's. Ingenuity was equipped with two sets of four-foot-long carbon fiber foam core blades to compensate for the thin Martian atmosphere. Its avionics, sensors, antennas, and onboard battery were fueled by a solar panel, and the technology was designed to allow for minimal to no input from NASA due to the significant delay in communication signals between Earth and Mars. Despite the enormous engineering challenge, Ingenuity successfully flew about 10 to 15 feet in the air for up to 90 seconds. The four-pound flying robot was only expected to last for a month or up to five flights, but it has been operational for over a year, completing more than 30 missions. Ingenuity's success demonstrates that reliable and cost-effective lifts can be achieved on Mars using helicopter drones. The cost of building and operating Ingenuity was around $85 million, which is significantly cheaper than the $2.7 billion cost of the Perseverance rover. If we were to consider the possibility of sending humans to Mars for the sake of adventure and exploration, it is crucial that we provide them with a safe and reliable base of operations. In this scenario, robots would be the ideal solution. One of the classic ideas for living on Mars is to create underground habitats that would provide protection from cosmic radiation, dust, and micrometers. Furthermore, the idea of living underground for extended periods seems to contradict the point of exploring a new planet. To address these challenges, Hassel, an international design practice, has partnered with engineering firm Eckersley O'Callaghan to develop an innovative solution that would provide all the benefits of being underground without the logistical hurdles. Their idea is to 3D print a large shell on the Martian surface using autonomous robots and the Martian soil, or regolith. This shell would create an artificial cave that could provide the necessary insulation and protection for human habitation on Mars while still allowing for exploration and interaction with the planet's surface. This approach would be a significant step forward in the development of sustainable and effective solutions for human exploration and habitation on Mars. The robot's primary task would be to collect various materials from the Martian surface, including rocks, dust, and soil. These materials would then be processed into a printable medium that, when heated, would become paste-like and solid as rock when cooled. The robots would use this medium to construct a shell layer by layer, creating a hollowed-out mound that would serve as the base for human habitation. Upon the arrival of human settlers, the interior of the base would be deployed, consisting of collapsible, inflatable modules. While these modules themselves may not be very sturdy, they would be protected by the solid rock shell, which would provide ample protection from the harsh Martian elements. As we wrap up our journey through the world of Martian robots, we can't help but wonder what the future holds for exploration and habitation on the Red Planet. Will humans ever set foot on Mars? If so, what role will robotic technology play in making that a reality? And what kind of discoveries and advancements will we uncover along the way? We'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on these questions, so be sure to share your ideas in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.